Hi there, welcome to your last task in level two. This one is gonna show you how to use a custom color palette and put it either in your slides and also in Canva to kind of show you the advantage of that. So first thing you're gonna do is find a custom color palette using at least four colors. You have three different websites to pick from. I offered three, these are my absolute favorites. Feel free to look at each one, coolers, is a really nice one that automatically generates the colors for you. So it's not preloaded at all. So you, all you do is click on the generate option and you're gonna use your space bar to cycle through the colors one by one. And it'll kind of give you all of them at once, but coolers is just a nice quick way of doing it. So you can see this one, so I'm gonna hit the space bar and you'll see it creates another one. If you ever wanna keep colors, you just hit the lock feature and then I can shuffle the rest. Ooh, this is a good one. This one right here lets you adjust the color. So if you wanna make it a little darker, a little bit lighter, all that good stuff. This is if you need to drag the color to kind of make sure how they all fit together. That's coolers. So let's say I really like this shade of yellow. So I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna choose copy. This is called a hex color code. These are unique to every single color. So it really ensures that the color that I see on this website will match the color on my other one. So I'm gonna come over to Canva and instead I'm gonna to come to backgrounds and I'm gonna choose a pattern. I really like this chevron. I think I used it in the previous one. Click on your color up here. I'm gonna add a color see that same option so now you're going to paste that color code and you'll see it's the exact same color from here to here so maybe come back to elements let's use a square i'm ready to use another color so let's take this one copy that color you can do Control c or command c to be a little bit quicker and then same thing here's my color cell click the plus sign and paste the color code. And that's how it'll work. Here's the good news. You can also do this and then find colors here as well in the color wheel. And you'll see it even gives you the exact color. The nice thing about Canva is it will save those colors. So if I need to do a different shape, I don't have to keep copying and pasting. I can choose the drop down and choose that color. So they will save your colors. The other website I wanna be sure that I show you is this one is actually made by Canva. It has a hundred different color combinations. It's crazy that there can be this many beautiful ones. I've spent many an hour coming through and finding the color palettes that I like. So if I hit use this template, this is awesome. And you'll see already that it has all the colors built in and it has your color codes ready to go. So that's an amazing feature. They've just added that, I love it. But there's a hundred different ones. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The last one is this one. Feel free to look at it. This is on Shutterstock. This is 101 color combinations. Why not? Let's just go above and beyond and add one. So this one, you will have to write the colors down, ignore a pop-up. You'll have to copy these colors because you'll see I can't copy that actual code. So you'll have to jot those down. But they have really beautiful colors as well to kind of pull from. So go ahead and Canva create your two backgrounds and add them on your slides. This one, so I went ahead and shared a GIF just to make it a little bit easier. So that cute color palette that you just used, you can actually use those same color palettes in Google Slides as well. So on this background, it says try changing this background to one of the custom colors you used in Canva. So I'm gonna come here. I still like this yellow. I'm gonna choose that. If you hit the plus sign, it'll go ahead and drop down that menu. Same thing, copy the color code. You can use those shortcuts, Command C or Command C. Come back here, choose background right here at the very top. Now I'm gonna choose a color. I'm gonna choose custom. And there's that same hex color code option. So I'm gonna delete this and paste the new one in. And I'm gonna hit OK. All done. So all of these options are really, really nice, like I said, in Google Slides, because now I can make sure all my backgrounds in Canva have the same color, all my slides and their text have the same color. Really, really nice. So you can even do this when you're linking text. So on here, let's say I'm gonna link this to a tech tool. Let's see, I like GoForminent. That's a really nice tech tool. See how I can search? I don't actually need the site, so apply. 
So Google Slides will make your links this teal color, sometimes the blue color. I'm gonna use my, col my custom colors. Drop down. So once you add your custom color into slides, it saves it throughout. So I'm gonna hit plus sign. It's a little hard to see, so maybe my background needs to be a little darker. So let's make it like a dark orange. Fun stuff, I don't know, whatever you wanna do. You can see the Bitmoji from previous sessions. All right, this one. So this one is dealing with transparent pictures. So an example of this is right here. So you can see where one of the pictures looks a little bit nicer because it's transparent, where the other one has this white background and it's nice, but it's one of those it could look better. So what I'm here to do is show you the quick shortcut on how to find some pictures that do that. So on here, find three transparent backgrounds and insert them here. You also have a nice little pro tip. This is the tip that I'm actually gonna show you. So when you go to Google, let's do, to kind of find your images. Again, be cautious. We never tell students to go to Google to find images. Be sure that you're going through ClassLink where we have those safe image searches available to students to make them a little bit safer there on the internet. So on here, go ahead and find an app. I'm gonna do Google Forms app icon. So I tend to be really, really specific, and then I need the images. So on here, you'll see a couple different options. So what I like to do is I like to add the words PNG at the end. This will most likely give me options that have transparent backgrounds. So I'm gonna click on here. So this one you'll kind of see is white. This kind of hex right here, that little, those squares, that will make sure that it's transparent. So back on my slide, and I'm gonna paste. Ah, see how it's transparent? If you need to crop something, you can choose this option here, or if you double click on a picture, you can also crop it and make it a little bit smaller. You can also mask shapes. So maybe I want this to be a button. Doesn't look as good, but maybe I can bring in the circle bring in the circle. Oh, it looks like I need to bring in the circle on that side too. And you can always move stuff around, use those arrow keys. I know we've seen those arrow keys before. So isn't that nice? You can crop it to be a shape or you can crop just to be a little bit smaller. But be careful, sometimes the images in PNG don't always turn out the way you want them to. It's just an option. So maybe insert learning icon, PNG, and then the load, and you'll do the same thing, add three pictures. So again, you can right click the image and copy and paste it in. So let's see, I'm gonna show you another option where you can take this and you can do copy image address. And when you come over here, come to images, by URL, and you can paste the link and insert it that way. So that's another option. Ooh, you know what? Let's use that mask that we just saw. Let's crop it to a circle. Now it's a button. So that's kind of this option. So you always have both options. All right, the last thing is to try is those URLs. You saw this shortcut before. Here's a quick tutorial showing you how to make those changes happen. So I'm gonna come up here. All you do on these is you delete everything where it sees, where you see slash edit. So here, if I type slash copy, see how it changes it? If I share this link out, it'll force students to make a copy. The other option is you can force it to go into present mode, so slash present. Isn't that nice? So you can automatically open slides in this mode for them. Other ones you can do are template slash preview. This one you saw on the slide mania, if you chose that option. So it allows students to peek through the slides and then choose to make a copy if they so fee, if they, um, if they oh so desire. Well, that's the end of this task. Thanks so much for watching and hope you had a lot of fun.